Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, your instructor. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to manually select multiple records if you want to send them in, say, a report or include them in a query or a form. We're going to be able to click them, pick them, and then print them. Today's question comes from Crystal from Chandler, Arizona, one of my gold members. Crystal says, I have about a thousand customers in my table. I need a way to select only a handful of them to mail correspondence to. There is no rhyme or reason behind the selection. The boss just gives me a list. So a query won't work. How can I do this? I get this question a lot, Crystal. You've got a bunch of customers. You want to only select a handful of them, but you can't use a query. It's not like all customers from New York with sales over $1,000. It's just you have this randomized list, not necessarily even random because random numbers will be easier. Just a list of people that you have for whatever reason, and you've got to send them some correspondence or single them out in some way. Well, the best way to handle this is to simply add a selection field to your customer table, like is selected. Let me show you how to do it. Here's a copy of my blank customer template. We'll start with this. You can download this from my website. There's a link down below. You can get a free copy. Okay, here's my customer database. And I've got a list in here of about six customers. But let's say I wanted to pick three or four of them to mail something to. Now, I've got another video which shows you how you can open up a customer and then mail something to just that customer. You set up a report and you can mail it to just them. That's a separate issue. Here, we want to select a bunch of them. Now, we have an is active field in this particular database, so we could use that. If not, if you don't have something like that, go to Customer, Design View. Okay, here's is active right there. It's a yes, no field. Just add a yes, no field to your database. Obviously, if you're already using is active, make it something else, right? Is selected, a yes, no value, and we'll default that value to no. All right, now we can select customers at any given time. All right, so save that, close it. Maybe on my customer list form, I'll add that to make selection easier, right? Come on over here, make some room for it, go to design, add existing fields. Now there's my is selected now, drag that, drop it right there. All right, I'll delete that label. All right, and then slide that a little closer. And then maybe just take one of these labels up here and go selected or just select, whatever you want to put in the label. The label is just text for you. The database doesn't care what it says. Okay, there's select right there. Okay, save that, close it. Now, if I open up my customer list, I can see I can easily select different customers. And now I can set up a report to just print to those guys. So let's say we're sending them some correspondence. What we'll do now is we'll make a query that just shows the people who are selected. So let's close that, create, Query design, bring in your customer T. All right, bring in just the fields that you want to put in this report. So let's bring in, probably don't need the customer ID. Let's bring in first name, last name. You can bring in their address if you want to mail them something. We'll keep this short though. And then we'll bring in is selected. And we'll set the criteria for is selected equal to true or yes or one or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So now when I run this query, I see just the people who I've selected. Okay, if you don't know how to use query criteria, I've got another video on that too. Go watch that now. I'll save this as my customer select queue. All right, that's my customer selected queue. So now I can use this to build a report. So create report design. All right, we're going to base our report on that query now. So go to the all tab over here and the record source is now customer select queue. Okay. Now I can add existing fields, bring in whatever you want. You probably don't need to bring in that all that is selected field. Just drop those there. And of course, you'll format this nice and pretty like you would any correspondence that you're sending out. There's first name, right? Last name. You can concatenate those together to put them in one field. If you don't know what concatenation is, that's putting two strings together. Again, I've got another video on concatenation. You can go watch that one. It'll let you put first name and last name together in one field. Then you put address here, city, state, zip, all that stuff below it. Then the body of whatever you want your correspondence to be, you could put that in a label or a text box. Just put that right here, right? Dear sir or madam or whatever. You could put their actual first name there if you want to, right? Shift enter. Here is some stuff. And you continue on with your letter. All right, make that black so everyone can see it. Page setup. 
Actually, let's go to Format, and then Black. All right, get rid of that header space. You might want to force a new page after this section's done. So open up the Details Sections property. Go Force New Page after section. I cover making a letter writer in Access in one of my classes. I'll find the link and put it down in the description below. You can do full mail merge and everything. You can have special fields you can fit right into the, the body of the text. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Save customer letter R. That's our customer letter report. All right, let's open that up and print preview. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got to turn those boxes off. But there's James Kirk. There's the next one. Oh, we got that background color too. There's a couple formatting settings you got to change. Design view. All right, first thing is the boxes around these got to go. So format, shape outline, transparent. All right, you can make these bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do, bold them. Okay, and then I hate that alternating color. Axis tries to be fancy. It changes that alternating color. Change the back color here to just white. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. All right, save the report. Now let's go back to our customer list and let's add a button down here to print out the report to the selected people. So design view. All right, we're going to go to um, our command buttons right here. Drop a button down here below. Report operations, preview report, next. That's the only report we've got in this database. All right, uh, selected customer report. Next. Selected our uh, report button, whatever you want to call the button, and then finish. So here's my selected customer report. Save it, close it. All right, now you can come in here. You can pick who's going to get send the le pick who is going to receive the letter, right? So I've got I've got me, Deanna, and Malcolm. Hit the button. All right, there's me. There's Deanna, and there's Malcolm. And he doesn't have an address. So that's how you do it. That's how you can make a selection of who you want to send this particular report to. And then with one button, there you go. There's your three people that are selected. Now, there's one problem that you might run into with this method, and that's this. If I pick James Kirk right now and hit Print Selected Report, I still only see three over here. He doesn't show up. Why? How do you fix it? That's a little more involved and it involves a little bit of programming. I'm going to show that in the extended cut for the members. For the rest of you, just know that you have to unselect the record first. See if I select Jean-Luc Picard, see how that record has the pencil there? That means it's currently being edited. And if I click this button, he's not in this set of records yet. Until I leave that and now come back to it. All right, I'll show you how to fix that in the extended cut. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, I will show you how to automatically refresh your selection so you don't have to remember to leave the record and then go back to it before you click the print button. We'll cover that in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, and we're approaching 100 now, so there's tons of material for you guys to watch. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select All to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1.
and it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.